Hey everybody, welcome back to Wargame. And today we have something different. Got Norad. <laughs> yeah, we're not playing US, we're playing Norad. Which, in all honesty, I think in many situations is kind of a worse US. I would say especially in team games where the additional 5 activation points for another plane slot, for example, really, really strong. In 1 versus 1s, I can definitely see the argument being made for Norad being actually, well, maybe not necessarily better, but definitely different enough. And it should suit me, really, because I've said it all the time, planes, not necessarily my strong suit, and sacrificing a plane slot, the fifth plane slot being five activation points, to get better infantry, for example, should suit me. So, let's give it a shot. Um, we're honestly gonna build a relatively similar logistics tab. Although we could choose the Humvee. Humvee is a quote-unquote jeep that I like using because it has 10 HP and 50 cal and a 6 per card. So we could do that. But let's run this for now. Having two cards of infantry CVs is really nice. I do prefer, my perfect or preferred supply truck is 20 points when using a fob. Um, yeah, it gives for me the best speed, supply per cost, etc, etc, value proposition. So what do we want for infantry here? Canadian Airborne 90 are, are really, really nice. I can find them. Uh, they're very solid. A Minimi, Shock, Carl Gustav M3, which isn't the best AT weapon, but still accurate and long range. It's very, very nice to have. Um, and you get 10 point wheels, which is just comfy. I might omit the small as a result, we will see. Because I might put in Highlanders 90 for my AT, which in Eric's is very strong 25 AP and even more range. Might still go for the light rifleman and still go for the base rifleman. Now, the question is. We even need Stinger, because we got the Wolverine here. I love me a Wolverine. The Stinger, uh, sorry, the pivots, the nice thing with the pivots is it's affordable and just very consistent versus helicopters, right? But the Wolverine is so cute! And I think it's a very underrated unit. So I'm gonna tempt fate. <laughs> I will tempt fate. Um, I will probably stick with the Paladin. So yeah, instead of a Stinger, we could also put in the Javelin, but having the Bradley card is also just really nice, honestly. So I think I will stick with this. Another thing to keep in mind, US does get a 10% availability bonus. So I lose one Stinger squad, I lose two Riflemen, I lose two Light Riflemen here, right? Most of the time, not a huge deal, but I think for something like this, there, there might be a game or two where you, you might feel that, that loss. Tank tab, I think we're gonna keep similar and just replace the M1 IP with the Maxus. Um, because the Maxus is just more offensively oriented and can punch up better thanks to its 10 RPM and full ranged 17 AP. You of course do lose 3 armor and speed. 15 K mage is nothing to scoff at and 50 cal and availability, right? Um, I would never suggest that the Maxus is a straight upgrade. In fact, even in Norad, you can very much make the argument that the M1 IP is just a better choice because you do have a lot of options, a lot of other options to deal with threats that usually the C2 Maxus kind of is ideal against, being IFVs, etc. Right? With its 10 RPM, it can really deal with those much, much better and gets to the one shot range much faster than an M1 IP. But we're gonna do it the other way. A Rick and Tab. Now we. Don't really need to rely on Navy SEALs anymore at all because we have Canadian Airborne, which are also on wheels, unlike US Marines. So we can skip those and go for something like Pathfinders, which are still which will still melt infantry. Uh, just not as much as Navy SEALs, but in forests, for example, they can deal with five pounders at the very least, right? So that is definitely an option. The other option is also to just put in Bradley here. Right? Then we can put in man pads and a five pointer in the infantry tab, right? You start you know, you start seeing those 
butterfly effect is maybe an exaggeration, right? But it's kind of a ripple effect, right? Being able to put in Canadian Airborne 90 in the infantry tab gives you a new kind of infantry, sort of, when it comes to the role it fills, right? And that suddenly opens up the option to not take Navy SEALs in the recon tab, and then I, which means I can take the Bradley, which means I can put in the man, but to the infantry tab in different transport, which then in turn means you get the gist, right? And I think it's really, really nice, and I think sometimes under underestimated. When people say, oh, you only get like these two new units that you use compared to the nation or something, instead of when you take the coalition. But sometimes those few units fill such important gaps that you suddenly are able to take other units that when playing national, you really wouldn't. Or not as often. So let's just give that a shot. And honestly, I might take, not the blowpipe, I might take the javelin because of its increased range. And the five pointer. Yes, it is less significantly less accurate and it's guided and not far and forget. But the range is also so nice, but, ah, but the accuracy, man. The accuracy is 70%, man. It's too good to pass up on. Vehicle tab, CS is kind of a must, though. It's just so good at what it does. Uh, Chimera would be cool, but I don't think we have the activation points. We'll see. ASF wise, we're gonna take. We're not gonna take the fifth card. Um, I'm gonna take the block fifty two. Hornet is also a good option. But I just I do really like the block fifty two. It's one of my favorite ASFs to take, given the choice, of course. When I've only when I wanna use only one card, one slot for an ASF. In the US tech, I take the C and A eagle. The C eagle to be like really high end, and the A eagle to be the affordable option. Um, since I only take one card, the block 52 is just a perfect middle ground of still being too big card, but still being rather expensive-ish, because it is still rather deadly, right? I will stick with the Thunderbolt, Nighthawk, and Raven combo, though, and we have one activation point left. So what we could do, and I really want to do, so I am going to, is I'm going to replace the H.A. Abrams with the Chimera. It does kind of build a similar role, which being, it's mainly a defensively oriented tank, right? It's not necessarily meant to push through other heavy tanks like the A2 does. It's more meant to be like a wall. Um, especially in, in on mech maps, right? Where this tank is not as easy to deal with with, with uh, many mech decks, for example. It's like an anti-mech tank, if you will. Which a Chimera kind of does as well. It is slower, it doesn't have a turret, worse gun with no stabilizer and lower RPM. But it still does have 20 armor for 30 points less. And at that price range, it starts being... It's right between the M1IP and the HA, right? So, yeah. I'm just a huge Chimera fan. I think it's a very underrated unit. I don't think it's like an S-tier top unit that you should always take. But I think people scoff at it too much because of its, it's, it's kind of a meme. You just gotta use it a bit differently than tanks. Alright. Let's give this a shot, shall we? So what changes, right? We have the two infantry CVs and you know different supply truck, which is minimal. Highlanders, Canadian Airborne. We can now take the Stinger C in the five point. We have the Wolverine for something wield as well. A Maxas Chimera uh, can now put in the Bradley in the Recon tab, which performs differently than the infantry tab IV, of course, because of stealth and optics. Has more two twos as well. And uh, yeah, fewer planes, but let's give this a shot, shall we? you in a second once I find a ranked game. Alright, I also <laughs> want to preemptively apologize if A, my voice just completely cuts out, or B, I suddenly become really loud. Because since yesterday I've been having some very weird microphone issues where it would just randomly not be recognized by Windows anymore until I replug it. It would also usually then reset uh, its volume back to 100, and I've set it to 50, meaning that uh, it would make me really loud. So it seems to have also been doing that without being not recognized by Windows anymore. It's very weird. I hope, I hope it's just a faulty cable. Um, and not, not the motherboard issue, because I've tried a different, I have tried a different uh, USB, 
port on the back of my motherboard. It's a USB microphone, right? Not some fancy high quality XLR or what have you. So I've tried that. You know, obviously I've restarted my PC, completely plugged it off, etc. Just in case, right? Turning it off and on again usually solves some problems. Um, but however, today, oh god, don't tell me it's ready already. Today, when I start my PC, it also didn't recognize my external drive until I <laughs> plugged it back in. So, that might just be a coincidence. I sincerely hope it's just a coincidence, because none of the other stuff that's plugged into my motherboard has had any issues. Um, so, But I really hope it's just a, just a cable thing, or even just the microphone being itself being kind of poo-poo. I don't want to have to replace my motherboard, man. I just got this, built this PC two years ago. Um, yeah. If you have any suggestions, you know, give them to me. It's a uh, Blue Yeti microphone. It's like seven years old or something by now. Um, yeah. For now, I just ordered like a cable for five bucks. That doesn't work, whatever. It's just five bucks. But back to the game. <laughs> We're playing Nord on... Nuclear Winter, uh, sorry, plunging again. Um, the game plan doesn't really change. But I think this time I want to immediately go for Bravo. Get some uh, Bisons. Wolverine. No, let's not get a Wolverine, we're gonna get a dead. We're also gonna get a Hawk, which from up here can really deny helicopters. It's a really nice position for something like that. So let's go there and get our light, some light riflemen. Rifle mints. Uh, get a stinger squad. Get one in mid. I don't think I want the bullerine for mid here. I can't really make good use of the wheels. Um, get a chimera. Get a Bradley in mid? How does that sound, huh? Drop him in. There. Get some Ruffman around. You know, if we get healer rush, whatever, again, I will not just straight up prepare for healer rush. But I will put my CV somewhere else. Um, Mortar wouldn't be too bad. Right, good luck of fun. Somewhat of an odd opener. We're here to have fun, right? Put the CV in here, it's not as obvious. In there. Uh, Rangers, you can unload in there and. There. Let's drive up there. Stay up there as well. I wonder if you can stay here. I want to move into the building, but then I'll signal that it's an infantry CV, so... Kyumaru? Ooh! Hoo -hoo. Interesting. Very interesting. That's the ninja. Ah! Uh, oh! Ah. Uh. Uh, let's get some Highlanders here. Some that drive mine. Okay. Someone call for a cab? Air defense ready. Really, you missed? I've only the. Oh, that's just mean. Only my um, what can the infantry do for you, sir? thingy had hit, my dab had hit, then the ninja would have been dead. Gosh darn it. The Stagions are gonna wreck me. Wait, so that's just his defensive Q, Maru here? Who does that? <laughs> I got... My opener got like completely ruined. 
I might just get a uh, night hawk for these pet. Where's my new cobra? There it is. And you want if, if you're not gonna push here with that, screw you, buddy. Pull you back. You're spotted. Push down extra stealth on those Tokyonsa. Oh, they're Highlanders. I'm stupid. They're not even Canadian Airborne. I accidentally bought them. I wanted those for town fighting. I don't know why I bought Highlanders. I'm actually stupid. What is wrong with me? Let's bait uh, whatever might be in here with some transports first. Also get some. Taste defense. I don't trust ninja users. Okay, what's the deal? <laughs> Casual defensive. We should, I'm just gonna get another Bradley, by the way. Not the same mistake as last time. Did I get a new? I did. For your order, sir. Turn this off, though. Yes, there's a uh, very early. Block D2D again. Set the. What smoke is that? It's a K9 Thunder or like artillery, but probably yeah, that has to be K9 Thunder. Three round burst, four burst in between. It's overwhelmed these uh, too much. Uh, you're also in a very good position, Bradley. It's like three missiles or something gone already. Why Back up there. I wonder if the Kumaru is rerouting as well. HMV, so there's Shumat in there. There's the Kumaru. I'm gonna be really greedy here. There is smoke, right? But he's not gonna see the knights are coming. So he's still gonna be like, oh, I have smoke behind him. Safe enough for when, like... Yeah, you just fired. For when an A-10 comes, but the... Thunderbolt has the stealth, of course. What am I talking about? The knight has the stealth, of course. And most blue drives players do not open with stuff like... Uh... Oop. Stuff like... Uh... Ox. Close enough. Right? Yeah. Alright, let's get some PNA airborne in here. Reverse, we should be fine, we have 5 front armor. Against auto cannons like that, that's a ton. Not necessarily against the martyr, but against KFVs, that's more than enough. Don't forget there's still the... Uh... He's pheasant that's alive and well. we get it once as far as I remember. I'd like to keep you alive. Out of fuel, okay. Get another. Oh. Place you somewhere where ideally the Chumat won't be able to shoot us. Oh, that's a good hit. Yes, please kill this. I think it's like I don't really want to. You know what? We can just smoke you out. Let's 
just smoke this off and then we can load up with the, the driveman. And I, I guess just kill you with that as well. Okay. Got like a stinger down here. Alanus is annoying. Let's get some supply on the field. Yeesh! Well, th thankfully those optics are really bad. Let the, little tanks come to us. the difference 10 HP makes. If that had 5 HP, it would be dead. It has your armor, so it takes a lot of damage from AP, but 10 HP makes a not insignificant difference. See if we can walk in there. Set up our Nighthawk. We should it's just Nighthawk first. The heck? Are those uh, reservists? Might be updated reservists, it's just got XP from surviving. Yeah, they did. Oh, they are. I guess both. Ooh! Oh, they was turning away, but he wasn't paying attention. I got really lucky. Now also we know that that thing is out, right? That thing has been shown. It's on the field now. You know what? Let's put a Bradley down here. This one here, I'm too worried of stuff in there. Let the little tanks come to us. Let's get one of you to just sneak around there, be annoying. Are you talking to me? Oh yeah, there's still a KUV there, huh? Of course, I'm in range of the HMV, but not the KFV. The reservists. Smoke just comes in time to fuck me up. What can the infantry do for you, sir? Of course, you freaking miss. Kill that. If the enemy is in range, so are we. Okay. I'm not gonna waste too much of trying to hold this and push here, but the thing is, I don't. I'm not too keen on like trying to counter cap alpha or something like that. However, it is it does of course allow us to not get counter cap. Okay, I'm just watching. I'm positively surprised that my mic is still alive at this point in time. Because it died right after I was done recording the deck intro. I'm surprised it, I spotted this so late. Huh? You don't need to, it, it to be turned on to spot with it. Oh my god, my hogs this game? It was surprising. Put it mildly, really. Yoroko WFCs. I assume the F16 just evac'd. Cobra. Looks like a lot of value of it, out of it right now. Yeah, just got a supply truck there. Get a Wolverine. It's mobile and has a lot of ammo. Lot of spam right there. Maxus is gonna do well against that. Ready, Fully back. Those are gonna carry this quads almost certainly. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, this is Where just bad. Us, I have to deal with this actually. Just shoot them. Maybe get the person to unload.
And that's a good split. Also, you're out of ammo, so that's bad. Oh, and we're dead. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. So are you. Because you're out of fuel. Let's get a Patriot. Oh, I'm so. Oh, did it miss? All of you are alive, man. So are you! What the hell? Move you over. This, you're not doing anything right there. Just spit it out. Transportation Corps ready for your orders, sir. Did I buy a new supply truck? I did not. I'm just kidding. Just spit it out. And the Kumaru. Ah, this is annoying. Nighthawk is like so good against that. Oh yeah, those are just reservers, like they're not gonna do anything. I do outrange these guys. They're out of fuel at least. Out of ammo. Get some, let's get a new motor. Really? Thank you. My radar edge is not pulling its weight. Today. Don't shoot at these guys, please. Oh, that dead. Thing is dead. Guys are dead. Well, let's get new ones. We did some good progress there. Also, I completely forgot about these bad boys. Interesting vet for the K900. What is in that? It is a lot of damage to a Kumaru if you hit. Oh, my Bradleys. I'm gonna show myself here. I don't mind. Yeah, he's, he's, he's scared. Um, let's get some Highlanders and mate against M36s. I'm gonna get that's okay. Who are you? Going back to the farm. Hundred spam. What are your orders, sir? Waiting for your orders, sir. Can be blind without us. Good scout is one you don't see. Lane. I was just very careful with the uh, line of sight I was getting there. I was really hoping to get that shot onto that tan Sam. Adriel is still here. You can move up a bit. Situations like this is like when I'm like, I really wish I had the attack ems to try to counter that. That's a good hit. That's not a good hit. It always comes down to the infantryman and his oh. Got something for me? What are in those? They're shock. Right, of course, they're shocked. They're marines. I'm stupid. I forgot about the marines just existing, I guess. I'm also floating way too much. Let's just get a double stack. With our first cell, we're gonna try to counter the K9, K9 Thunder, which has been doing good work, honestly. To 
very good cover position as well. Love to see it. Some rifleman spam. We're actually behind in points, I just realized. What can the infantry do for you, sir? We actually need to get a move on. Uh, yeah, we're gonna work on pushing mid. We have a very strong position here. You, That's an empty mortar. Nice as well. Ooh, that's cheeky. Well done. That's very cheeky. Put the ninjas around here just waiting for shit like that, I bet. Nice. Honestly, I'm not even mad at all. That explains also where the ninja is, right? We haven't seen it in a long while. That's honestly a really good idea. Oh, uh, now we spotted, of course. Well, I guess maybe it was like, at this point, minus as well, because, you know, I... I didn't kill it, by the way. It's still alive. Nothing to report. Nothing to report. It always comes down to the infantryman and his wife. Still need to give these guys some fuel. Alright, I have supply tracks here. Screw it's got a early command tank. Okay, so trying soon. Ooh, we took the on side there. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy, hello. Yeah, you're good to go again, you're good to go. You, long. you know, if I had just bought one of those uh, Palins and would have lost only one, right? I had still have one left, because by then the ninja presumably would have been dead. Wait before we fill up ammo. Because right now fuel is more important and they have literally none left. Or will have has literally none left. Let's the Q-Maru again. Looking very healthy. We had another thunder and tried to uh, bait them into the AA that we have. We have a lot of AA. Am I really getting fob snap now? Come on, dude. Nerd. I, I don't really hate fob snap in such a sense. Some people really do. And I can understand why, right? I, I don't really mind it. There. Ammo, fuel, spare parts, anything you want. Gotta be careful. But it's an ASF that actually. Chopper, I was about to say gotta be careful because if that's an AT plane. Uh, I almost got. I shouldn't have stopped. I, uh, that was. That was one shot, so never mind. <laughs> Wait, what? That fucker is still alive? Oh, calm the fuck on, man. I'm surprised this is not spotted. It's actually so lucky. I've been getting RT there for I don't know how long. Yeah, I'm spotted. Come on, shoot it already. I lost my pager because I didn't move it. Ugh, honestly, I'm just so lazy with my stuff. I don't even have a mortar. I just could get my shit, my artillery stuff, even if it's just a mortar, man. Come on, man!
Ah, uh, that Nighthawk loss is. I really, really notice it, man. Don't have any AA. Holy smokes. What? Dude, my A just doesn't hit today. What the hell, man? My Bradley's still alive quite a while, but that's good. That fact that this ninja survived for so long is also criminal. I lost one of the Bradley. Oh, that's some na that's a nasty angle. That's a very nasty angle. I need artillery. Just waiting for a target to fly by, and then air defense ready. Let's hit at least, but a bit too late, honestly, for my tastes. Ugh! Just ugh. All I can really say here. It's really awkward all around. Not even the decks fall. Wow, I'm actually surprised they hit it because they're panicked. Yes, that that's okay. Get more of them. I know I have two on the way, but still 15 minutes. Get into safety. Ah, shit! Got spotted. Was moving too late with them. Also, I should split them up. They're just gonna get already. How am I still spotted, man? The fact that Wolverines. You know what? Okay, fair enough. There you go. Bill, how am I was so spotted for so long? Where was the recon? No way, this. I guess it must have been there, but I'm still surprised. I gotta see if these fuckers. Yeah, it's not looking good for us at all. Okay, Mike is still working, that's good. I did not pay attention to how many peace festers I killed, but it's not more than two. It's at least two, but I don't think it's more. My plane, my AA this game, my radar A, very disappointing. To uh, put it mildly, I don't want them to give the position away. Those might be Tokyonsa. Not having Nighthawk is also annoying, nor Paladins. I can't even try to snipe the CV here. Oh my god. I hate when that happens. Get an M182, fuck it. Ooh, they were at 92% and they got stunned. That's uh, it's just unfortunate. Still at 1A10, but it's gonna be really tough to use it. We got an infantry civil here. They're dead. Just waiting for a target to fly by, and then. Bigger the better. 
Can you move into this thing already? Jesus. Hello? Move! Alright, I killed it. It's fire in there. It's trying to repair the uh get a longbow maybe? Trying to repair the uh what's it called? Kyumaru. What are your orders, sir? Did I get the longbow? I don't remember. I did not. Okay. I'm a coward. Get another mortar. <laughs> That's a good first shot, Kumar. That is a CV. We got a little gun. Don't get sidetracked by these Panzer Plus 3s. Let him water. If the enemy is in range, so are we. Did I say it's set in water? What I meant is, is that going for the water? Get along. Maybe we should get along for there. There's one hellfire in the CV set, right? Nice, that's a very good hog. And Wolverines just do the job. There's the AA piece. Let's get that longbow. One of you hit, one of you hit, yes, okay. There's the thing. Well, let's, let's see if we can do some stuff with the longbow here. In airborne. What can the infantry do for you, sir? It's a Kumaro retreating. Reservists. Or not reservists, Marines. Kill them. Nice. The Kyumaru. There's another one! I was so hoping that it would be the only... Ah, oh, that there was would be no other Tansam. Ah, oh, that's so horrible. I was really banking on our opponents A being just way too low for what they're... What they have. Ah... Uh, to be fair, we needed a play like this to... To potentially win, I think. Not nearly enough infantry coming. Nah, yeah, Wolverines. Wolverines tanking.
It's like a Hague Young squad and shit in there, so. We'll do over and let's go. Maru dead, but it's not enough. Get another one. That's a, that's an ah, I was gonna say unlucky hip young, but they were just panicked, you know. What the heck is the cobra man? The wrist kills. Okay, don't be too greedy with that M182, don't want to look at the side shot here. Supplies. In there, there's no proper AA, you're gonna kill that. Oh, hello there. I'm not gonna be able to get ya. Cobra. A 10 might also be the right call, I'm not sure. Can more CSs? Oh, I'm dead. Unless, <gasps> unless I'm not. Unless, unless, unless I'm not. Unless I, unless I am. <laughs> Might have possibly, potentially, slightly overestimated the. Uh, Survivability of a forged Abrams against uh, Panzer Plus 3s. Another Kumaru. Make sure we take the long way. The long way. With our longbow. I think I don't even mind resupplying those motors. I should have much earlier just tried to move the, the Abrams in there, honestly, with smoke. A lot of Pepion. Did we kill the seat plane and I just didn't realize? We've never seen it since. Since uh, shortly after my Patriot died. I'm so confused by that. What? I didn't even see that. I just didn't. I just check the line of sight with longbow, and there was no line of sight. What the fuck was that line of sight? There is the seat. Oh wow, that's that was just dirty. I didn't. I, I was sure it would overshoot me. Look at the CS, it's just dealing so much damage though. That's funny. <laughs> what are you ordering, sir? Yeah, to be honest, the airplane just destroyed us. And as much as I was like, uh, rip 
Oh. As much as that was like Chimera's underrated, the horrible off-road speed of the Chimera got it killed as well. I reversed it into the forest and it couldn't uh, reverse fast enough. Um, yeah, but that airplane, man. My AA just unable to kill those planes. Like, holy smokes. Stinger is not hitting, Hawk's not hitting. That was really frustrating. The Peace Fessner at the start not getting hit once by either of those two missiles lost me lost me so much. Lost me the Hawk, right? I had to rebuy it, slowed me down. It allowed the follow-up. Oh, man, that has such a... So frustrating. So frustrating. That ninja play was really nice, though. I will actually want to. I would want to check real quick. Um, if the ninja was just sitting there waiting for an opportunity, or if it uh, was there the whole, uh, or if it was just bad timing. If it was bad timing, well, it sucks, but frustrating. But you know, this is how it is. If it wasn't bad timing. Then, you know, well done with the patience. But I... Hmm. I'm still just so annoyed at that... Uh... Okay, it was, I guess it was the first missile. But the second one didn't hit either. If at least, you know, they would have traded and this thing had killed it, man. That piece fast has 20% ECM, by the way, in the low fly altitude, right? It's not hard to kill. So frustrating, man. Ugh. Because uh, outside of that, right, it wasn't looking really good, but then I had to, like, had to keep stuff in... Tell you. That's frustrating, man. Because again, until that point, we were actually doing so well, despite the horrible opener. 240 points lost, in terms of Paladin, also really hurt, of course, right? Still, still a bit off until we start getting those. Yeah, okay, that was just greed with the Nighthawk. Yeah, the Patriot also missing, of course, on his first. It's, it's an updated Patriot. Oh, the Tansom should not have lived, man. I'm so mad that it actually just got there and, and stayed along alive for how long it has been. It was just bad timing. You're kidding me. It just arrived there. Hold on. I wasn't even paying attention. I bet, I bet your ass that Stinger missed. I'm pretty sure it missed, I, if I remember correctly, it had no bad. My aim, look, I said in the last game, you know this bad RNG, a whole lot more than good RNG. This was some, just a series of just bad RNG, come on, man. I still made bad decisions, but holy smokes. But yeah, I do hope you enjoyed the video. I'm happy the mic lived for as long as it did, the entire game, so that's something, I guess. And um, yeah, I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.